Hello, fire signs, and welcome back to my channel. This is Dee, and I hope you all are doing well. To my current and new subscribers, thank you for your support. It is greatly appreciated. Every like, comment, and share allows my channel to receive exposure, creating an opportunity for others to engage with my content. And it also helps my channel to grow. So thank you very much for your support. Fire signs, this is a general reading for you from the Psychic Tarot for the Heart Oracle card deck which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. So let's get to your message. God most high, angel spirit guides, beings of love and light, the Holy Spirit. What is the message for the fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. From the psychic tarot for the heart, oracle card deck. That's for their greatest and highest good. Fire signs, you have take the lead. And I feel like you're being encouraged to take the lead with passion. Look at all this fire. So I feel like you're coming through in your own message. Or you could be also in a relationship with a Aries, Leo, a Sagittarius. So take the lead in your relationship. If you've been sitting back and allowing your partner to always take the lead, you're being encouraged to step up and be spontaneous and take the lead in making a decision for date night, for dinner engagements, to spice up the relationship, you take the lead. So, um, I'm getting like um, role plays. Okay, there's no one on my channel who is under 18 years old, so I can say that. So I'm getting role plays. Take the lead in you all spicing up your relationship and engaging in some role play playing. There's nothing wrong with that. You're adults. So especially if you have been in a relationship for some time, in a committed relationship, uh, whether you're just dating for a long period of time, engaged or married, regardless, even if it's a fresh new relationship, still take the lead. You're letting your partner always lead in the relationship. And that can become very daunting for someone who's always taking the lead. They're going to be looking for some spice. So again, fire signs, you're being encouraged to step up your game in the romance department. Yes, I said it. Step up your game <laughs> and take the lead. And so uh, let's see what else we have here. There's much passion in the relationship with you and your partner because if you look closely, you'll see that there is a heart inside of the ball of fire. There's a heart inside. So you have passion for your partner as they do for you. But you need to just spice it up a little bit. So take the lead, you know, take the lead in having even difficult conversations. If you have to have a discussion on a topic, take the lead. Don't wait for your partner to execute on there being um, some discussion. Rather, it's about something that is concerning you or if you have an idea about um, something that you all may want to do in the relationship, you take the lead. Rather than, again, waiting for your partner to execute on it. Because it takes two, of course, to make a relationship work. And I feel like you're getting this message because you're allowing your partner to always take the lead. This is God Most High encouraging you to be proactive. Yes, be proactive in your relationship. If you're shy, 
then you're being encouraged to break free from that. With all this fire, with all this fire here, you're being in, encouraged to tap into your wild side, to let go and just be free. I'm getting the song, wild thing. Mm -mm. You make my heart sing. You make everything groovy. I think that's how it go. Wow, thing. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> okay, I did not say that I was a psalmist or a singer. <laughs> I'm just relaying the message, okay? <laughs> Doing my best over here, okay? Okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, but you get what I'm saying and you get what God Most High is conveying to you. It's time to spice things up, fire signs. You have so much energy. You have so much passion and you're being encouraged to take some action, execute it, you know, let it just all flow, spice things up. I'm getting that um, song by Missy Elliott. Get your freak on. Get your freak on. Get your, get your, get your, get your, get your freak on. Woo. All right, fire signs. Y'all got a lot of songs channeling through over here. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So, fire signs, take action to take the lead. Also, I feel like the hand that's holding up this ball of fire here. I feel like that is symbolic to your partner always taking the lead by themselves, always, you know, making the plans, always making the preparation, always um, being the person who's being the initiator. So I feel like that single hand right there is reflective of your partner always leading in the relationship. But you're being encouraged to step it up. Get your freak on. Fire signs, spice it up. You have the elements of fire within you. So ignite that, use it proactively. Don't be shy. Now is not the time to be reserved, but definitely be proactive in stepping up and taking the lead. And, you know, be the person to decide on things that are helpful in your relationship with your partner. They need to know that you are just as passionate about the relationship as they are by not just saying, but also doing. So again, this could be about making arrangements for dinner, date night, um, role play, having conversations, whether it's general conversations or difficult conversations because those do need to be addressed in relationships because it helps the relationship to be healthy, not addressing what's concerning you is not healthy. It's always best to, you know, to really be open and honest with your partner. All right, fire signs. So take the lead, take the lead. Uh, let's see. We have the number three reflected here. I'm just going to take a peek and see what number three is representative of. For me, number three represents the Holy Trinity. And I feel like um, that for me means that your relationship is definitely divine and you have the divine presence of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit in your relationship. 
if you don't believe in the Holy Trinity, that's okay. Then that doesn't have to apply to you. Again, only take what resonates with you. So one of the things that number three is representative of is creativity. <laughs> Be spontaneous. Harmony, happiness, growth, connection, enthusiasm, and also um, children. So maybe you're considering having children with your partner or you and your partner talked about having children. That could be a part of it as well. But again, those are some of the things that come up as it relates to the number three. Again, creativity really flows with the message. Um, maintaining harmony, of course, happiness, growth, connection, enthusiasm, and children can be a factor as well that you are interested in having children or you have children or your partner have children. You have a blended family. That's beautiful as well. But the main focus for your message is that you take the lead, be proactive and be creative, be spontaneous, and don't always let your partner uh, be the person that's always initiating in the relationship. It's a two-way relationship. There's give and take. That creates harmony, balance. All right, fire signs. So fire signs, I'm going to leave you here with this message. I hope it has been helpful. If you have not already done so, please subscribe because I would love to have you join us here. Like, comment, and share. Please turn on your notification bell so when a message is uploaded, you'll get the notification and you can go directly to the message. You won't miss any messages as well. So until the next time, fire signs, take good care of yourselves and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.